Hey, how's it going? This is Dawn and Tyra here back at you again. And um, you know how I am. <laughs> you know how I just jump right into my topic. But before I do that, I'd like you to tell me your name and where you're coming in from. And if this is your first time watching, you can jump in the number one. If you're looking at this on a replay, you can put in hashtag replay. And before we get started again, my name is Dawn and Dyra. I got started with network marketing or internet marketing back in 2008. And I came on the internet thinking that I was going to make a million dollars overnight, fire my boss. And, you know, it, that's just how I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Because there were the ads at that time, make a million dollars, excuse me, make a thousand dollars overnight uh, just for doing clicks, click, 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 click. And I got caught up in that and I was like, okay, okay. So I was just throwing my link all over the place. I had no idea that I was spamming the internet and things just did not turn out the way that I thought they were going to turn out. So I decided that I was like, okay, I don't get this. This is not for me. And I stopped. Uh, so early 2016, I decided I'm going to come back on here. I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I've always wanted to have my own business. And when I was doing the internet marketing, I actually liked it. I loved what I was doing. <clears throat> it was something new that I was learning. So I was like, I'm going to get back to this and I'm going to learn this because I know there are people out there making an income from it. They're changing their lives with it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to be one of those success stories. And that's what I did. Uh, hi, Libby. How's it going? Thanks for joining. And that's what I did. And now we're in early 2018 and I'm still here. And it's amazing. So let's talk about having a vision, okay? Have a vision. What is your vision? That is something that you have to focus on, your vision, having a vision. If you want to be a network marketer, what are you going to do to get to be a network marketer? What steps are you going to take? Um, what books are you going to read? That's what this is all about. Whatever vision you have, you're going to have to study it to see how you're going to be a success at it. Now, this might this is might be a little bit a bit off topic. I was looking at uh something on Netflix. I love looking at um like people building houses, like flip or flop. And this particular um show this guy was making a home out of shipping containers, something that his family was totally against. They didn't see it. They were like, I don't know what you're talking about, but he was an architect. He had the vision. He drew it up. He knew what he was going to do and he went through with it. I'm going to make this, you know, short. He went through with it, did what he had to do because he built other homes and lo and behold, this home that he built with shipping containers looked like it was a million dollar home. I mean, it was amazing. It was totally amazing. But I tell you that because this man had a vision. He had a vision to make this home that he dreamt of having, but he did not want to spend a million dollars to make it. So shipping containers was something that he found to be the cheapest material for him to use. And he built it and it was just totally awesome. So you have to have a vision. And when you have that vision, you have to be jotting down what it is that you have to do to become a success with whatever that vision is. Like I just told you my story, how I wanted to be an entrepreneur, a network marketer. That is my vision. That was my vision. And what, what I had to do was surround myself with people who were already doing what it is that I'm doing. Study 
what it takes to be a full-time network marketer and just be consistent with it and keep going and keep going and keep going. I mean, to have a vision and to complete it, it's it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. And there's something else that I learned in Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I think it was in Think and Grow Rich or it might have been The Law of Success. He said in there to keep your mouth closed. I might have said this before. I don't remember. Close your mouth. Stop telling people who are not going to be supportive. You know they've never been supportive. Stop telling them your dreams and your goals because they're not going to they're not going to help you. They're just going to make you feel worse. They're going to laugh at it. And that's just going to make you feel like wanting to give up. I know now that I do not talk to anybody about my goals. I don't talk to anybody because a lot of people, unfortunately, have small minds. They think small. And that's no disrespect to anyone. But they think small. And because they think small, when you bring something to them that is large, they just laugh at it, you know, or they like it goes over their head kind of. And because they don't have that type of vision, they're just going to laugh at you because that's all they can do is just laugh at you. There's not going to be any type of support. Hey, Erica, how's it going? There's no type of support. And when they do say that, oh, yeah, well, I wish you the best. I don't think they really mean it. <laughs> and I mean, that's just a tip from me to you. Be quiet. Be quiet about it. The people who you know that are really, truly going to be supportive, there's probably one person, one person that I've actually told what it is that I'm doing. No, two. Two people that I told <clears throat> what it is that I'm doing. And that's it. That's it. They support me. They support me. If they don't, they don't. I really don't care. Okay? Because I know I'm going to have what it is that I want because I have the vision. I'm working towards the vision and it's going to be a success. It's already starting to become a success. And I've surrounded myself with people who are doing what it is that I'm doing. Some people who have already accomplished their goals. So it really doesn't even matter because I'm around like-minded people right now. I'm around people who want to become something bigger. I have something so amazing happened to me over the weekend that I was like, wow, wow. Just have the vision, follow the steps, and you can do it. Before I go, I just wanted to mention, I've been living in this apartment for some time now, right? And <laughs> I think it's just time for me to go. I've been hanging on because I love New York. I didn't want to leave and, you know, but it's just come to the point in time where it's just time to go. It's time to go. Hi, Hillary. It's just time to go. And um, I mean, I'm tired of paying rent. Over the weekend, we were like at four degrees and we didn't have any heat because the oil truck decided that they didn't want to come. So late last night, they finally came and we got heat. But I was just like, you know, this is enough. Enough is enough. I mean, how long are you going to stay in this apartment and you're paying, you know, rent that is just crazy when you could just buy you a house, buy you a house and you'll be the one that's in control of your heat, your air. And all of those things, you know, and you'll be the owner of it. Okay. So this is another vision that I'm sharing with y'all that I have. Okay. So all that being said, this is Dawn and Diary here. And I just like to say thank you guys for watching. All of you who come through, thank you for watching. Those of you who are brand new, I'd like to say thank you also. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day.